news is made in Metropolis. Every morning, the five million readers of the Daily Planet wake up to headlines like this. Yes, Superman has stopped another major crime. And yet, how often do we take for granted the miracle of this one-man vigil in our midst? How much do we really know about Superman? In the year 3700 of the Nola Galaxy, a tiny planet called Krypton faced imminent destruction. A series of internal nuclear explosions threatened to destroy the planet in seconds. Yet, only minutes before the Holocaust, one man, in a desperate attempt to save his baby's life, put the infant in a tiny rocket ship and launched him into space, destination unknown. How it happened, we can never comprehend. But surely, it was the hand of Providence that guided this frail craft toward Metropolis. What sort of a being was this that landed in our midst? Men called him Superman. Criminals called him Nemesis. Before his advent, respect for law was at an all-time low. Since his arrival, organized crime in Metropolis has steadily decreased from year to year. And yet, Superman still finds time to offer his services to the less fortunate among us, our senior citizens. Our shut-ins. And our citizens of the future. Little wonder then, that a grateful city bestows its highest honors upon the man of steel. Here is Daily Planet editor Perry White presenting Superman with the Good Citizenship Award. And so Superman, on behalf of the 3,000 employees of the Daily Planet, I take great pride in presenting you with this award in honor of your achievements. Oh. Yes, prevention of crime and pride in Metropolis. This is the credo of Superman. Kids, being Superman is a full-time job. There's a lot you can do to help. First, be good and listen to your parents and teachers. Believe me, they're on your side. Second, be healthy in mind and body. You know, it's not easy combating all the criminals and evildoers in a city this size. No matter how hard I work, there will always be men who want to take the easy way out. But if I know that the youth of Metropolis is behind me 100%, and if I can feel confident that tomorrow's citizens will be decent, upright men and women, my job will be that much simpler. Thank you.